It is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, the chance to fly with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. So these are the men and women who maintain and fly the fiercest fighter jets in the entire world. They're here now for this weekend's Minnesota Air Spectacular. It's in Mankato. But ahead of the show, they help me defy gravity and see the world from a whole new angle. Take a look. The Thunderbirds are elite members of the U.S. Air Force, America's ambassadors in blue. They flawlessly maneuver fighter jets, sometimes flying as close to 18 inches from each other in the Diamond Delta formation and as low as 200 feet from the ground. The Thunderbirds are the ambassadors in blue. We're the Air Force's uh, PA machine to be able to go out. We uh, represent the world's greatest Air Force. Right here, right here. They offered to train and take me up in an F-16 Fighting Falcon to understand how incredible it is to function with so much agility through the sky. Beautiful view. Wow. Take a breath, and as soon as we take the breath and we increase the back seat pressure, we're going to pull the nose of the jet six and a half G's as we pull straight into the vertical. Pilot Major Tyler Ellison explained each maneuver thoroughly before the flight. A little more G's this time. You ready? Uh, wait. Okay. And during, making an impending yeah. barrel roll Here. possible. Here, um, five, five, some G's. And the flight surgeon's medical coaching. Okay taught me how to breathe through seven G's. Now remember we talked about, if the nose of the aircraft is changing direction, you're creating G-forces. The G stands for gravity, meaning the body's pull to the earth increases 100% with each G. At four G's, lifting my arms was nearly impossible. And then there are the solo tricks that slice through the Mankato sky. There are eight pilots, but nearly 140 men and women who make the Thunderbirds possible. They are about pride, precision, and professionalism in the U.S. Air Force. And I'm sure you're wondering how I fared. Well, I have to admit I suffered a bit of motion sickness, but I felt a little better as we walked away, feet on solid ground. No, when I'm up there flying, it's, uh, it's all good. But when I'm in the back seat, it's a different story. <laughs> Kind of like a car. It is. Right? When you're driving, you're good. You might get a little sick when you're in the back seat. When I was doing the training, the, the uh, flight surgeon says, okay, how are you with small spaces? Fine. Heights? Fine. Motion sickness. I was like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> because even driving the back seat of a car, you know that about yeah. me. Mike is always so sweet. He rides in the back whenever we have uh, more than two people in the car. I'm used to it. My mom you also are. gets yeah. motion sick, but she would not have gone up in yes, a plane. I, <laughs> you, you looked like you were holding on for dear life at one point. At w one point. Were you? Yeah, we okay. had to because we were doing, uh, we did several, you know, turns where we went completely upside down. One of them was called an eight point turn and it just like, just like points eight, on a clock. Yes, yeah. like points on a clock. Uh, one question I've gotten a lot is how long were you flying for? Yeah, how long were you flying for? Uh, more than an hour. It was almost an hour and a half flight. And I'm just going to call her out on yeah, the air yeah. because Kim Johnson said, well, last year I didn't get sick. <laughs> I don't think Kim was up for 90 minutes I, last I have year. no I, idea. I don't know, All I know is that it was, it was, a lot, it was oh. beautiful. But the whole time wasn't tricks. Right. There was a lot of floating around, but it was great. It's fun. Well, so very jealous.